This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings, and I'm going to show you first what makes Gallon a good pitcher. I did a, a video when he struck out Freddie Freeman showing you how much he plays off that high fastball. Also, the low fastball. His fastball doesn't have a ton of movement. It's a four-seam fastball. It's also not incredibly fast. It, it's it's under 95 miles per hour. So what he has to do is hit his location, and he does in this pitch. I'm going out of order, but I'm showing you what works for Gallon. It's a low fastball. Maybe you get a swing there. And you put it in play, but then you get another one, and the ump doesn't call it a strike, and he's like, ah, I wanted it, does another one. Boom, swings through it. 3-2, now he goes high fastball, high and in. It's a really nice location there. That's a really nice location on the righty. Up and in fastball when you've been working down in the count. 3-2 again, and now he's going to throw the slider off of the fastball, and he gets an unbalanced swing and a pop-out. You know, here's another at-bat where he got the out. He opens him up with a curveball or a slider. I don't know what he calls that, but it's a big breaker and then a changeup, kind of dead center, but it's got movement, and it's got, you know, the batter off balance. And so these are the three pitches, and you can see everything plays off that high fastball or low fastball, but you need to establish the fastball to make the secondary pitches work, and you need to hit your spots with the fastball. Now, unfortunately, in this game, against the Phillies, the first game of the NLCS. His first pitch is a fastball, middle, middle, 92 miles per hour, and Schwarber is going to crush that and ride the wave, ride the horse, ride something, ride everything. Yeah, you got to be up in the zone. You got to be down, especially the first fastball he's seen. You can't make that 92 dead center. Schwarber almost looks like, really, dude? I wanted a challenge. Like, don't be giving me BP first pitch. You can see the four seam grip and you can see it just spinning, spinning right into the sweet spot for Schwarber, who's been insane. You cannot make mistakes to the Phillies right now. Harper comes up, 93 mile per hour fastball. They wanted that a little higher. It's also the first pitch of the at bat. You got to really place that well. You can't go this fastball and misplace it. He's 31 years old. It's his birthday. It's his fourth home run of the postseason. He's counting on his fingers. He's blowing out the candles. He's the coolest kid around. His teammate's going to dap him up. Oh, super bad. Yeah, he's a bad man. Look at that pitch again. Right there. Thank you very much. Gallon's not even getting the chance to work in his off speed because his first pitch fastballs aren't great. Now, to Nick Castellanos in the second inning. He opens him up, slider away, doesn't get a chase. So then he's going to go, it's probably a curve, and gets a big old swing from Castellanos. Big old swing. So he's probably thinking, okay, now I've set him up to throw the fastball, but I don't know why he didn't just throw that pitch again because he goes fastball and it's middle of the plate outside. Castellanos goes the other way with it. Another home run. What'd I say? What did Trey say? What did he say? His son's going nuts in the crowd. Let's go. And, yeah, you cannot throw pitches that juicy in the zone to the Phillies right now. Here's a fun overlay of both pitches to Schwarber and Castellanos, and yeah, they're both uh, just sitting right there for him, and they both go to right field. And then here's another overlay where I made the balls overlay just for my fun, and visually I thought it looked very pretty. I was like, that's cool. Took me like an hour to do that, so I hope you guys, you think, wow, good use of your time, Jimmy. Really good use of your time. I enjoyed it. It's pretty. If you could comment that below, it would do wonders for me. Thank you very much for tuning in. This one was brought to you by DraftKings, and I thank DraftKings for sponsoring the breakdowns as much as I thank you guys for watching and enjoying them. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel to see all the breakdowns, I appreciate that as well.